Channel 5. Troy Williamson defends his British Super Welterweight Championship against the pretty boy Josh Kelly. Who wins? Find out Friday, December the 2nd, 9pm, live and free on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Let me turn my light on. There it is. Blinding Joe Laws. What's happening, brother? I'm back, Andy. That's why I'm fucking back. You know what I mean? Uh, I've been beat. I've won. I've knocked, dude. And I've been knocked, dude. And I'm still here now. And I'm fucking back Friday night. Let's have it. That being said, man, you, you, we've done a Zoom call a couple of weeks ago. I, I, th I think it was. And you seem to get the... If you seem to have got the bit between your teeth, I mean... A lot of people say a loss is a lesson. You taking that last loss of yours back in the, when was that? A few months back. Yeah, yeah. You taking that as a lesson? Of course, yeah, I'm, uh, Listen, no, like, all, all my support and all that. I, I wouldn't fight if it wasn't for my support. But my support, can't even remember a five fight score, you know what I mean? So the only thing was hurt is my ego. But I've left, the, I've left my ego in the gym years ago, you know what I mean? I, I just want to uh, be the best Joe Lose, uh, be, be the best version of Joe Lose in the ring. And uh, so far, I haven't shown it yet. So it's life's a journey, you know what I mean? I'm enjoying myself, I'm enjoying the ride. I'm a born entertainer. So come Friday night, let's go. You said you haven't shown it yet. I mean, you fought on Sky Sports. Uh, you fought in a cell that you tell it to Arena in Newcastle on Lewis Redson's undercard. You're probably, what, you 14 fights in, 15 yeah, fights in? 14 fights in now as a, as a professional. Why haven't you shown it? <laughs> Loads of air, just... I just good question, right? <laughs> just uh, I don't think I, I'm I'll be legally allowed to say it, uh, but uh, loads of reasons I made there. Uh, just loads, uh, fucking with me weight, me diet, just loads of factors that you need to be drilled into camp. Like the fight won or lost at the start of camp, you know what I mean? So uh, I time showed up. Don't know, could be the nerves, could be. May fuck me diet up, may fuck me wake up, could be lo loads of factors, but I haven't, I, I haven't shown up uh, a single fight, but hopefully my career is going to be a nice, long, successful one, loads more fights coming, so hopefully I show up. You're 27 years old, you're creeping on that 30 now, Joe, um, can I sense a little bit more maturity coming from yourself? Aye, it is, it is, and the air. there's more life to boxing, but boxing's all I've ever done, and that's like, my life is boxing, you know what I mean? So, I have been living the life, I've been training hard, and I've been feeling good in the gym. Uh, obviously, I have bad days in the gym, but I've been feeling good, you know what I mean? So, I think that's crossed back when I'm waste the next year, when we push on towards big fights, uh, big domestic fights. I don't mind being the B-side, I fly out of fucking Dubai, Africa, you name it, you know what I mean? Just, just give me the shot and uh, I, I swear, win or lose, I'm giving it 110%. No matter how I feel on the day, I am giving it 110%, you know what I mean? And uh, how I felt in my last fight, I felt like utter punch now. And uh, <laughs> under the circumstances, I did, I reached, I watched it back. I still thought I should have got it, but you couldn't complain. And uh, I, would let, I would love to fight Alexi again next year. I would love to. Uh, He's a, he's, a top, he's a top class operator. You know what, what people don't know about Alexi? He's probably better than most prospects, but he just chooses to get beaten, you know what I mean? And that night he chose to have a go, and fuck me, did he not? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a good entertaining fight, but how much pressure is on you now going to Friday night? Obviously, coming off that loss, uh, you, met, you said there that you, there's a lot of factors playing into it, why you haven't been quote unquote professional. So, how much pressure is on you going into Friday night? I'm coming on the back. I'm coming on the back of a loss, Andy. Zero pressure. People aren't expecting now from us, to be honest. Uh, Joe's been forgotten about. You know what I mean? Uh, I've got Leighton, who stayed loyal with us. Uh, I've I've been friends with Lee since before uh, since before I was actually signed with him. He stayed loyal. All these um, all these promoters out there who were like proper bigging us up and all that when I was like five and or six and you know, all. Few losses, uh, few defeats, and they must forget about you. Know what I mean? But uh, I'll not forget the lot of people who, who, who've stuck by us in uh, the next couple of years when I make it. I mean, Friday night's another big night in Newcastle. Obviously, there's not many Jordies on the card. You might be the only one. Two, 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 two. So, uh, yeah, what, be, uh, same usual crowd for yourself going to be there? 
you loyal fans? I literally and I've got a uh, I had like two and a half weeks to sell tickets and I shifted fucking like 300 easy you know what I mean I cut the more to be honest but uh, I couldn't get any more so come Friday nights it's going to be loud it's going to be electric the car's going to be massive loads of local talent um, two kids who are on the show making the debut who are four as amateur Travis Wars and Bobby Dalton so it's uh, like it's good to see the lads who I've grown up with in the amateurs come through as a pro you know what I mean it's going to be a mint card mint night and I just can't wait Obviously, you're going to go in there and get the win and looking into 2023. Now, you're, you're, you're saying that you're willing to travel anywhere and be, be the B-side. Is that a message for any promoters out there? It is. Listen, from one, one from, from 147 to 160, I'm not only to ask, just give us notice. Give us notice, show us the Benjamins, and I'll turn up smoking a cigar and I'll pan your kid's head in. You know what I mean? Uh, I think too many people are told the talk and when they get out, they flap it. You, you could say that's me to an extent, but... Um, what, whatever, whatever happens on the night, I'm, I'm, I am giving it 110 percent from now to to retire. You know what I mean? So if you want, if you want excitement, if you want entertainment, give Leighton a ring. Uh, I bring entertainment. You know what I mean? Uh, win, let's like say, win, lose, draw, get knocked out. I'm always in an exciting fight. Spa. I, I don't have, I don't have a boring spa, Andy. Uh, so I just want to entertain. You know what I mean? I want to entertain. I want to enjoy what I'm doing, which I am and let, let the good times roll. The main event tomorrow night, I'm going to get your thoughts on it. It's a Sunderland versus Darlington. You like that one? You're, enjoy, you're, liking, you're liking the look of the main event. Give me your thoughts on it then. You know what? Ooh. I'm, I'm getting hot all over on first, Dad. Ooh. You know what? It's a pot of 50-50 fight, you know? Uh, I know both lads, like I say, from the amateurs. I've grew up... Uh, I've, I've grew up and I've went for the amateur scheme with them and you know what, the two cracking lads, it's uh, I think who has the best game plan on the day, uh, I think Josh Kelly will shine early on, Troy will shine late on, who's got the fitness, who's got the best game plan and who's, who's going to show up on the night and uh, I watched the I watched the head head today and uh, it was kind of funny, like, uh, it, was, it was good to watch but aye, uh, it's going to be a cracking fight. What can your, your, your Toon Army, what can they expect from you on Friday? 110% effort, balls on the line, and I'm bringing the fucking win back for you. Listen, Joe, go and enjoy the rest of this media workout, and uh, no doubt it's fight week, baby. I'll, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Fight week, man, it's fight week, and uh, like I say, I want to give a big thank to all my sponsors, my loyal sponsors who've stuck by us, all my fans, all my support. You are the reason why I fight. So, a Friday night, let's fucking have it. Bomb squad. Let's go. Listen, Joe, well done, brother. Troy Williamson defends the British Super Welterweight Championship against the pretty boy Josh Kelly. Who wins? Find out Friday, December the 2nd, 9pm, live and free on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. Eh? See if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.